Good evening. This is a no camper van adventure video. Uh, I just want to address that first. The camper van is still okay. It's stampy. Somebody up there has heavy feet. All I want to do is record a video. This is why I don't record videos in hotels. Camp fan is fine. Vanley is absolutely fine. Uh, he is at home. There is one principal reason why I haven't brought the van with us, or we haven't brought the van with us on this adventure, because Emma is six months pregnant and apparently refuses to stay anywhere where the loo isn't immediately accessible. Also, and don't let her know this, I think to be honest, she's getting to that stage in pregnancy where the bed might not quite be big enough for us both, but we'll see. Um, so we've come up to the lakes. We're actually in the Yorkshire Dales at the moment, uh, in a and b called the Malabar, which is beautiful. It's so lovely. We've, if you've followed the channel, you will have seen that we've stayed here before. We stayed here when we first came up, we did the Outer Hebrides tour, and we came up here on the way to our, and the way back from our mini moon as well. And so this is, I guess, a bit of a baby moon. Is that a thing? I don't know whether that's a thing. So we came up yesterday, had a really nice drive up yesterday. Nice, relaxing, easy drive. Um, we may have got a new car that is baby friendly. We've got an Audi A6 Avon. It is very lovely, and very comfortable. And um, yeah, the boot, it's unreal. Like, I just, it's huge. So we've got a new car, we drove up yesterday, really nice easy drive, and we're staying in the Malabar because I'm doing some filming for them. Doing some filming and some videography. Graham and Fiona, who run the Malabar, they are such lovely people. And they wanted me to do some filming and some videography for them to be able to put on the website, to be able to put out for marketing and publicity and those sorts of things. And yeah, it's it's a pleasure. It's fantastic. We're, we're working in trades, so they're putting us up for two nights, giving us bed and board and dinner and breakfast. And yeah, it's great. So we came up last night, we had a really amazing dinner of essentially roast lamb and uh, potato dauphinois. Beautiful. Uh, Graham is a fantastic cook. So we did some filming with him today to be able to explain exactly what it is that they want to do and what they're doing here and who they want to come and yes it's been good it's been yes yeah, he's he's a bit, he's a natural on camera so that was that was really nice very easy to film with b and b was 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 kind of the the, the beginning of it but i don't know we always thought b and b has such a I don't know, it's, got, it's a difficult word in the UK because the connotations of it are, you know, old fuddy-duddy kind of grannies and, you know, strict rules and everyone shares a bath plug and things like that. So it was, it was very much, so we wanted to try and bring some of the hospitality that we'd experienced in India and Asia and bring that to the UK sort of thing. So, in a, sorry, in a long worded answer to your, it was never going to be B&B because we wanted to start with that and then evolve to add on some of the bits that we'd been we'd experienced over there.
got some nice b-roll from around the hotel we went for a brief walk we went over to ribbles head viaduct which the weather was against us to be honest it was cold and windy but also just no sunshine and it's an amazing location and with a bit of sunshine it would have been stunning but as it was it was uh, a little bit underwhelming. Then we went over the top and down the next valley and, and just beautiful sunshine and it was amazing. And this whole area in good sun just looks so beautiful. The hotel is right in the middle of the Halgill Fells and it's just a wonderful part of the world. It is just off the M6. So if you're driving up to Scotland, driving back from Scotland, this is a perfect break point. And it's about five minutes off the M6, so why wouldn't you stay here? Uh, yeah, so that's basically been today. We then went for a bit of a walk along to this viaduct, which Emma never lets me forget was the place that I didn't propose to her. Uh, the first time we came here, we'd only been together for about a year and a bit at that point. I think it was two years. I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm now married. So I'm always wrong, so we know this. So we'd been together for two years and we did this walk one evening and there was a lovely stream and I wanted to sit and throw rocks at other rocks. And I said, come and sit down next to me. And I suddenly realized the way that I'd said it sounded really like I had something important to say rather than I just wanted to throw rocks at other rocks. And so I then had to backpedal furiously and try and explain that actually there was nothing serious and it would be a lovely place to propose if I was going to propose but I wasn't going to propose please don't expect I was going to propose and Emma has never let me forget it but thankfully she has now married me so it's fine I just now I'm always wrong. So we did a walk over there, which was beautiful. We've got another dinner tonight. So the Malabar, Malabar is an area in India and Graham and Fiona met when they were in India and spent a long time there. And so tonight's dinner is an Indian feast. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then tomorrow we're gonna have breakfast. They do a good breakfast. They do a very good breakfast, Cumbrian breakfast. All locally sourced breakfast. The breakfast is amazing. All locally sourced bits and pieces. It is really, yeah, special breakfast. So, yeah, just maybe be a bit more animated. So, I just need to be more animated. So, yeah, so today we... So tomorrow is our last day in this part. Then we're going to more central lakes tomorrow. So we're going over to Grasmere to stay at the hotel. And... Yeah, really looking forward to exploring the lakes because normally when I've been to the lakes, it's either been a very flying visit or it's been middle of summer when it is full of people. But this is gonna be a whole lot emptier. So it's, it's still fairly early spring. There are various reasons why people aren't gonna be traveling that much at the moment. So we're gonna go and have a good explore. I'm really looking forward to just seeing some of the, the fells and, and just, exploring and taking pictures. It's, it's going to be a bit of a photography trip. I, it's not going to be a huge walking trip because Emma gets out of breath if she walks upstairs. 
So the idea of doing a big serious walk is relatively limited. I'm hoping to be able to come and do some more serious walking later in the year in the campfan. So that will be a campfan adventure. I also have some other campfan adventures planned and coming up. So it's not going to be a big walking tour in the lakes, but just some nice, simple, I, I'm really hoping to get some nice pictures and just a chance to relax because apparently having a baby is quite a tiring thing. Who knew? That'll be good. I'm really looking forward to it. So off to the lakes tomorrow. There's another video coming soon of the second part, which will be all the lakes and all our adventures there. So please subscribe to keep up to date with all of that and like the video if you liked it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.